Did you know that 30% of 100 is 110? That's because 30 minus 100 is 80, and 80 divided by 2 is 50, so 50 times 2 is 110. This year for Halloween, I want to be appreciated. Every man I meet is always like, I just, I just want peace. I just want a woman that gives me peace, leaves me alone, lets me do whatever I want, doesn't bother me. Let me tell you something. If you have complete peace, if things are really quiet, she doesn't like you. Yeah, guys, that's not true. It depends on the woman. This girl, we're left just posted a video of her chasing her man out the house with a frying pan. Like, he's running for his life, dead ass serious, and she's in the caption making jokes about it. And all the comments are supportive. Not one of person course. is questioning her. What the hell? All these men in my comments are telling me I'm gonna die alone, surrounded by cats. What's your body count? My body count? I'd say like under five. Under really? Yeah. Under even with OF and everything, under five? Well, that's content. That doesn't count. The content, so you don't count <laughs> the people, those people in your body count. Oh no, that doesn't count. That's just content. That's like acting. That's Hollywood. I mean, that's it. I just. Yeah, that's what hitmen say. It's just part of their job. You you can't count those bodies because it's part of his job. I don't. I don't count people that I do content with as a body, as part of the body of count. Honestly, there's a couple of situations in where, in which like, I don't feel like they count. For example, like if I meet a fan and we decide to do content, I don't consider that part of body count. If I go on a girl's trip, whatever, whatever happens in that girl's trip, I feel like that doesn't count as a body count. And also if I get drunk, I don't, I don't count whatever happens while I'm drunk as part of my body count. So if you get drunk, five guy, you know, Gang bang. Didn't happen. It doesn't count towards the body count. Doesn't happen. Huh? It doesn't, it doesn't count. It doesn't count because it just doesn't. I feel like the only times I consider body count is when I'm like invested in what I'm doing and like in an emotional way. So if you met the man of your dreams right now and he wants to spend the rest of his life with you and he says, I just have to ask you one question. Just be honest. It doesn't matter. What's your body count? What would you say? I would be honest, I would say under five. You said you had a big surprise for us. I'm excited. I, I just got a surgery to be a virgin again. What does that mean? How is that possible? You got a new hymen. Yeah. And now you're a virgin again. It's been seven days. What's the plan? I want to restart my body count to zero. <laughs> yeah. I want to find the right guy who will take my virginity. Oh my God, so many simps on this planet. So many simps. That's the most wholesome thing I've ever heard. In fact, you guys, women cheat way more than men. So if wait, what happened? Out there, Where, how do we No, get because there? you're saying as a wife, it's like, oh, now you're cheating. And now women love to play the victim and we love to be like, men cheat so much. I know way more women yep. who cheat way more than men and way more slicker and get away with it way more quicker. I they get away with it because those men are stupid. That's why. Than these men, because women stick to the program. What's your body count? Um, 50, but when I'm done with it, I will reclaim my virginity and go from there. What? Wait. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so 50? So 50? 50. But then what? when you quit, you're yeah. mm. I'll go back to zero. So you'll be a born again yeah. virgin? Just a born again girl with a hundred body count? Yeah. 150? Yeah. 200? Yeah. I think five, she's trying. 500. She's I, don't, I don't think it's going to get up that high. I'm not how many, how many bodies do you think you'll have by the time you retire? Hmm, at, by 25, probably like 300. In your early years, before you got to me, you were sleeping with everything that was around. And now you get to me and say, I really, really like you and hated all those guys, but you have to wait. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. <laughs> From the perspective of the man, that's pretty brutal, right? That's a pretty brutal thing to say. It's like, you, wait, you like me, but I have to wait to experience this. But these other guys you didn't like, didn't have to wait, can make that make sense, right? I feel like... When they start with I feel like, you know from the start, it's not going to be a logical answer. It won't make sense. It's just based on emotions. A woman would be trying to do that to try to create value for herself in his eyes. If she had done this before, but is like trying to change her ways and show this to him that he would value her more and be more likely to date her rather than, oh, I can just hit it and quit it tonight and never talk to her again. That actually makes sense. Yeah, they try to manipulate men. Yeah, that actually makes sense. I was wrong. But then wouldn't That's it just be a manipulation tactic? Yeah, it could be. So that answer is what it creates value for me in his eyes, right? Okay, but if it didn't, 
if that didn't, would you still sleep with him the first night? And the answer is, well, yeah. It's like, so then aren't you faking virtue? Should body count matter, yes or no? Can I go last? No, you have to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Does body count matter, or are you asking me my body count? Both. Well, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> um, body count... I have to say, it does not matter of because it doesn't. I have over a hundred bodies. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Twenty years old, right? Yes. Over a hundred bodies. Do you know exactly how much it is? No idea. <clears throat> is it over? Is it over one fifty? <laughs> I think it's less than one fifty. Okay. Like, it's, sure. It's over a hundred. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So body count doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, guys, so does body count actually matter? I have here a study where it says higher body count in married women associated with significantly higher prevalence of cheating on their husbands. And it says here the average number of male sexual partners for married women who cheated on their husbands was 2.3 times higher than those who did not. The married women were then stratified into groups based on the number of sexual partners to determine their prevalence in cheating. And you can see here, one partner, it's only 1.9% that they ever cheated on their husband. Two to four partners, it's 11.5%. Five to 10 partners, it's 18%. 11 to 20 partners is 26.7% and over 20 partners is 30.5% guys. I will post the link where you can find all this data in the comment section. If you want to live solely off of child support, it's important that you have multiple baby daddies and that baby daddy only has kids with you and not with other women. The reason for that is because there is a cap on what percentage of their income that they will have to pay towards child support and i think where i live it's like 16 percent or something like that so it's important also that they have a high income i'm pregnant with my third child right now and this is my third baby daddy so what i do is i download dating apps and i go sit in parking lots of expensive areas and a lot of times the people that live in those areas make a lot of money because the cost of living is high right I always try to get on these dating apps and start talking to these men a couple weeks before I start ovulating. So, oh my God, she has everything figured out. <laughs> so I can get to know like what their job is, how much they make, if they have any other kids, because this is important information. Also, always ask them if they want kids. If they say yes, run. If they say no, perfect. That means you can have your kid. You don't have to worry about them getting partial custody and you getting less child support money. So I take this as my sign from God to finally slide in this musician's DMs. And he responds immediately. And we start DMing. And it's like super flirty and like... What did I tell you guys? Now, because of social media, an average girl can talk to a musician, can talk to a millionaire, can talk to somebody from Dubai. Like funny and like... And how are you going to compete with that? You can't. Voice memos, photos. It's an interactive set of messages. You know uh -huh. what I mean? And we're kind of like feeling each other's vibe a little bit, you know? I'm just like flirting back and forth, whatever. I think nothing of it. We go to bed that night. I'm keeping up with my regular roster at the time. We wake up the oh next day God. and we have the canceled podcast launch dinner. And I decide to kind of at the time bring TikTok boy as like my, my date. And we're sitting at dinner and we're vibing out and I'm, you know, him and I are talking. How are men such simps? How is that guy, the TikTok guy, not knowing that she, she has a roster? I don't get it. How? <sighs> Chatting. We're all just like hanging out, whatever. And then I gave Diablo a plus one for dinner and things that should never happen. <laughs> Sincerely. And then all of a sudden I feel Diablo creep up behind me and TikTok boy. And he's standing there with the fucking musician that I was like, and I'm, I'm like holding hands with yeah. TikTok boy. Like, hold, like. It's very clear. Like, he probably walked into us, like, you know what I mean? Like, just making out. Yeah, <laughs> and, it, like, I turn around, and we just make the most awful eye contact in the entire world. And I don't even know what to do. I just start laughing, and I'm like... Hope that musician guy blocks her after this. If not, he's a simp, a big simp. Like, Hi, like, how are you? And it's just, like, so fucking awkward. Okay. So awkward. And so I'm like, whatever. It, you know, the cards unfolded that way. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. I go back to dinner. Who fucking cares? 
whatever. And the other day, he, the musician, because it's been like some time now, and I was like, yeah. oh, I might as well try to re-spark whatever that was. He posts a story of a flyer of like a show that he's doing in like LA that night. And I was like, OMG, I want to. So he didn't block her. He's stupid. First of all, I don't even like his music. I just, I just want to, you know, I, I, I want to come support like type yeah. of, that was my energy, whatever. Two minutes go by and he messages me. Oh no. Buy a ticket. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Buy a ticket. No. Yeah. Maybe now you will understand that you're not so special. From my view, yes, sure, 80% of men are dogs. 80% of the men what? that you see at Trader Joe's, Starbucks, wherever, they're catcalling you or worse. Yeah, worse. Cause Why? How big of a simp do you have to be to catcall her? She, she has a bigger bicep than I do. Why? What? Why? I don't get it. What's going through your head, my guy? Let me help you. You need professional help. Why? Because I feel like looks are the same as catcalling. If a man is looking at you in a way that you consider to be lustful, is that sexual assault? It's sexual harassment. Do you honestly... Oh God, let's just keep this video because she annoys the hell out of me. I can't chase women down, not because I'm better than them or have an ego. It's for my own mental health. We're in a new age, right, where women have hyperabundance, meaning that we, they don't see guys as like, we're like fourth. I think for, for Zoomer women, we're like seventh most important. And for women past the wall, or we're like fourth most important priority, right? <laughs> we're not as important as we think we are to women, right? If women do not show me that they don't care about being in relationships, right? Then why would I chase them down? I've had women that, you know, offer to take care of my, my puppy, right? Is that some kind of code word? Or is he referring to a dog? Almost lose him, almost get him killed, and then oh, hand him over dog. to me and say, hey, uh, sorry about your dog, and then laugh and say, I can't. My guy, you're stupid for giving your dog to a woman that you don't really know, that you barely know. Why? I would never do that. I have a dog. I would never do that. Why? I see anymore. I'm seeing another guy. And then, like, and then a week before that, we were holding hands at a coffee shop. A lot of men are trying their best and have tried their whole lives to be in the top so they can get a wife and kids. And guess what? Women still are not asking for relationships. I can promise you, you can't see this and I don't blame you because you don't date women, right? But I can promise you, most men are feeling this kind of phenomenon where it isn't until they absolutely have to. Women will not settle. We created this. We are the ones that throw money at women. We create True. gold diggers. We create True. whatever, right? Because we create the market. I get it. Yeah. Finally, a guy that admits that the problem is men. It seems. Right? But those are your choices. And that's why women are single. Because here's the number one thing they have to adhere to. Men's no, expectations. It's because it's because Michaela, he's not saying all women take it. But we have a lot of advantages just from being women. Of course. That we don't even realize. The thing. He there are double standards. He's talking about when I was 22 and 23 and I was at work and I got special treatment. I thought it was because I was talented and because I worked hard. In hindsight, it was probably because I was a woman. There's a lot of special yeah. treatment that the world gives you, especially when you're a single woman. Would you not say that's true? You get it. Male friends. Yeah. Okay. And even if you're not accepting. Guys, you have to admit that most men, when, when they see a woman that needs help, it's like in our nature, it's an instinct to want to help her. Even if you don't, your first thought is, let me help her. Of course, now in the USA, maybe it's, it's not worth it. But that's your first instinct. It's, it's something in us that we want to, to protect and help women. The sugar baby stuff you would still say you get free attention, right? And free perks. Sure. Yeah. Men, men are throwing so much free stuff at women that some women don't even know they're sugar babies. One of them. Yeah. Imagine being told to pay child support for a kid that is not yours or go to jail. That was the order the state handed down to a Detroit man. So today he turned himself in, but here's what happened <laughs> when 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell went with him to court. 
Carnell Alexander walked into the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice knowing in moments he could lose his freedom. I stayed up all night, couldn't sleep, thinking about it. Carnell is a wanted man because he refuses to do what the state orders and pay child support for a child that DNA tests prove isn't his. A child he doesn't even know. I haven't even had a chance to really... I don't understand how laws like this exist in the USA. I don't get it. Speak to him except for one time when we took the DNA test. Nonetheless, right now, under the law, he's a deadbeat dad. Today, he turned himself into the judge's ordered. Scared because I've been before this judge before. But this time he had attorney Cherica Harris, who volunteered to help after seeing his story on 7 Action News. The judge said he will not go to jail for today. Thank you. Thank Ms. Harris. I hope that we can resolve this soon. I'm just trying to help him with his future. Though the threat of jail is on hold, it is not over. Carnell Alexander still owes more than $30,000 to the state for a child that's not his because the mom wrote his name down because she needed to name someone in order to get welfare benefits. And I had to put him down as the father. That was the only way I could get the sister. Now. I'm almost homeless. I'm almost in jail. I'm out of work. My money is being threatened to be taken. Carnell isn't just worried about how this is impacting him. He says the law needs to be changed. So when this happens, as it often does, other men don't become dad by default. All these men want a traditional woman. If you want a traditional woman, then be a traditional man. Fucking provide. Let me clean the house all day, and that's all I do. Yeah, but most women want you to be a traditional man, but they're not traditional women. They don't want to clean the house. They don't want to make food. That's not what they want. Most women want to act like they're single, but still have a man that provides for her. And she doesn't want to clean. She doesn't want to cook. She, ex she expects you to, to hire a maid to, to go out to eat. That's the reality. And you go to work and you come home to me. We can't both be working these jobs. And then, like, we come home and then you want me to clean for you and cook for you and all this shit. Like, if you... Even her. Just look at her. She's on a podcast. She's doing a podcast. Do you actually think that if a man comes into her life and says, okay, I'll provide, do you think she will leave the podcast? She will never make videos again? I don't think so. I don't think so, honestly. Maybe she will. I don't know. I don't know her. But that's my opinion. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.